Woof woof. Hello, everyone. We're gonna kill the Emperor. But first, let's make... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, new bling. Yeah, that's more important than killing the Emperor. Mm -hmm. Alright, critical damage. I like me some critical damage. I do, I do. I thought we could make a new sword, but I guess not. Oh well. Guess we'll just have to kill the Emperor. I guess. Oh well. At least we'll kill him out of the joy of it. Killing's fun, as long as you don't let it be bad. Still doesn't make sense to me. Still can't get through that purple magic door. I can get through ice door and fire door, but I can't get through magic door. Alright, another way over here. Mm, secrets, treasure, mm, delicious, delicious treasure. Mm, mm, delicious treasure. I think if you've already gotten certain chests, it won't give you as much. Yes, I'm sure it was. You know what's a glaring weakness in your defense? Having your guys, like, do what they're doing right now. Well, that was stupid. For some reason, I pushed the Y into the, the X button. And that's why I got exploded. But as long as we don't die, everything's good. Because when you die, well, you don't get to level up. It's just kind of bullshit. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Gimme all that sweet cheddar. Wow. What the freak? See, it's stuff like that. It's just like, okay, I'm interested in your story, guys, but when you mention Superman, how the hell am I supposed to take that shit seriously? <laughs> Like you are purposely breaking the fourth wall for no apparent reason other than you think you're clever. Gimme the sweet sweet treasures, thank you. That's a weird thing to think about, man. Like I wouldn't think that, because I would question myself immediately. I'd be like, why did I just think that? That's very weird. I'm getting lots of horror, that's for damn sure. Alright, where am I now? Oh, fuck. Alright, kill the. Jeez. That was bad. I think that exploder exploded them. Okay, that wasn't as hard as I thought it would be. Darn you, purple door! I'll get you. I will have at thee. Is there something I'm missing here? No. Alright. Alright, here we go again. Run, run! Oh, wow. That was almost a bad thing. Yes, fry your friend. Get over here. I like that. I like the grabbing him and pushing him back over. Uh, maybe I should heal with my other sword. I haven't really been freezing people. That's good. Alright, we're good. I think we get energy if we like attack anyway. So. This really didn't have much in the way of safety. I will say these fights are a little bit more difficult now. Man, I can't even see the guys attacking me. As soon as that exclamation point happens, they're fucked. Uh, some points are better than no points. Well, that fire's still there. Internal fire. But the more he thought about it, and he had so much more time to think about it now that he was not worrying about the battle, killing the Emperor would not change anything. Oh. Take his place. Perhaps Zenobia. 
perhaps the Speaker of the Rebel Council, and power would corrupt them too, and death would make grief, and grief would lead to hatred. Uh, he must lead by example. Reject the violence. Reject the desire to create violence. Okay. Uh, save the king from the obvious, uh, like, corruption, like the, the evil demon that resides inside him, I guess? I don't know. You're not gonna kill the man, I don't know what you're gonna do. Talk to him? <laughs> Go, hey bro, uh, don't be a dick. Excuse me? Wow, that was horrible. All three of them hit me. Oh, damn, I just ran into that one. These battles are getting harder. Now, it should make me fight the... Okay, good. I was about to say, this game is cheap if it's not going to teach me a goddamn lesson. Yeah, cook your friends. I, I forgot to be stabbing people. I should be stabbing people. Yeah, like that. <laughs> that was perfect. I like that. Really? Yeah, I'm sure. That play being uh, Independence Day. The best play ever. So does that mean this is Earth? I thought this was like another world where there's like living islands and shit these references are getting more and more obscure <laughs> the more the more they happen <laughs> it's like I do not understand them Soon he'd confront the Emperor. yes bad things would happen this whole war had come about because the Emperor feared death and now it was coming for him was that the reason it was some sort of lesson there wasn't there I don't know about that From what I can tell, he got corrupted by some evil demon, and everyone just kind of just didn't understand that's what happened. I killed you. I like the slowing down time thing, it's very helpful. Booyah! What the hell is that? Um, no, no, thank you. Why would they do that? That seems like a bad strategy. Am I supposed to go in here? Guess so. Finally, he came to the Emperor's ship. The path behind him was strewn with dead ravens. The path to enlightenment. Yeah, I guess. He realized was trying to change the world. The world would spin and the wheel would revolve whether he strove against it or not. What he had to do was nothing. What does that even mean? Attained enlightenment. So he's not going to do anything? Down, adopted a full lotus position. What? And began to meditate. What? All around him, the warriors stopped fighting too. What? They knew. They could feel his enlightenment. What the hell's they going on? Fighting, dropped their weapons and became his disciples. What? <laughs> no, just kidding. I was about to say. Raven stabbed him with a sword and then chopped off his head. I might not have thought this through properly. That was so dumb. Renato's head as it rolled around the deck and died. Why the fuck the book. was that? He was still alive. Again. <laughs> and still only flying away from burning Ubar. Had he lived that adventure? Return of the hippie. <laughs> Was that a hippie? So real, not like a dream at all. Oh I lord! Again. Oh, he hated that. Well, I mean, that was his own damn fault. Choices, and he lost in a different way. It was the book, wasn't it? Oracles showed you your destiny, but this, this was showing him different ways he could die miserably. Thanks a bunch, book, he thought. <laughs> those were destinies that he did not have to fulfill. But he learned another true thing. The Iblis Stone was evil. 
It would try to corrupt anyone who used it. No shit. That was a terrible ending. He just... I thought we... Ugh. Just instantly just lets them kill him. No, it's like, what? That's... But that meant there must be a destiny where he survived and won. Right? Uh, otherwise, what was the point? What was the point? That, the book's pages fluttered back once more to the beginning and... The clouds parted. Ah, and we start over again. Excellent. It was time to choose. All right. I'm assuming it's going to be the same three beginnings. They needed a game changer. Pieces of the Sky Ripper had surfaced. I might do that one next. Using it could go catastrophically wrong. I have a little symbol now. Sure, he could figure out how to use it safely. Also, a temple had risen out of empty desert. That's a different picture. Was hidden there. It was a dangerous artifact. It could corrupt its user into a bloodthirsty monster. I already know that. He could find a way to use it. To take its power without surrendering to its wickedness. On the other hand, his old friend Lapino needed rescuing. Lapino was no game changer, but could Renato really leave an old friend to the Ravens? Alright, well, that's the things we got now. So uh, I will see you in the next one, and we'll do another story and see how that goes. Hopefully we don't uh, <laughs> be stupid. But, you know, that's not entirely in my uh, <laughs> in my control, is it now, is it? All right, well, see you in the next one. Uh, later, Gators.